everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> we have another yes style video. This one I am particularly excited about because the clothes in this video I think they are so so cool. So a couple of weeks ago I went on Twitter and on Instagram and I said to everyone hey guys yes style has said to me that I can spend $500 on their website and I asked people what would you like me to review. So I have this huge box here I've opened it up and put everything in order so that I can try them on as proper outfits. I'm so excited I've been so hyped for this video for so long so I really just I don't think I need oh I don't think I need much of an intro, I just want to jump straight into it. Wait, I do have something to say. Our pre-order pins are live, I'm so excited! These are our two pins, these are available on Once Upon a Pin, I will put the links down below. We have Archie and I, and we have the Bird Stays. These are enamel pins, they have two posts on the back. Oh wait, give me that. They have two posts on the back, like this, and I'm so, so in love with them. And thank you so much to everyone that's already bought some. It means so much to me, so if you want to buy some for yourself, the link is in the description below. And thank you so much Once Upon a Pin for working with me on these. Okay, so let's dive right in. So the first thing is not a piece of clothing. This is just super, super cute. This is a mirror. It has strawberry milk written on it. It is so cute. Oh, look, Archie. This mirror is $12 and I absolutely think that's worth it. I've just really started to get into hand mirrors since I started watching Tati because she always has some sort of beautiful hand mirror when she's doing her makeup. And I think for $12 it is very, very well made so I definitely recommend this. Jumping into the clothes, the first thing we're going to try is this pair of jeans. Now this is a $30 pair of jeans and I'm always very hesitant about buying jeans from Asian websites because I do struggle with getting the right fit. These are a size small, I did measure myself and it looked like it should be okay but I don't know whether it'll actually be true to the size on the website or not, so we'll give those a try. They're really baggy. I don't normally wear baggy jeans like this, but it is a, a real typical Korean style, so I'm excited to try them. And I also got this adorable little top. Now this is a $10 top. It's got a little crescent moon on it, which is so sweet. It's really small though, like it's a little tiny baby cropped tee. I learned what baby cropped tees are in my uh, Dolls Kill Delius video. So well, this is a baby cropped tee, and I'm just gonna pair these together see how it goes. This top, it's so soft and it's so comfortable. I have a very strangely shaped bra on underneath and it's probably showing. It's got this really weird sort of ribbing around here so you, you can see that. But let's just ignore that for a second. This is such a cute t-shirt! did not want to go over my thighs. Oh no! Damn! There's no buttonhole! Ah, I hate it when that happens. You can just cut it yourself. It's just like a... It's just a manufacturing thing. They should probably have cut that, but I can cut it myself. Now that they're over my thighs, that was very difficult to get them over my thighs, but I think they're so cute. They're really high-waisted, which I love. And I actually don't mind the baggy look. This is my first time trying this sort of baggy jean trend, and I think it's really cool. These would look so good with a belt, like cinching them in at the waist. The camera is against the wall, and I'm, my lens doesn't go any wider. But hopefully you can see. I really love them. If I could do them up, that'd be great. Have to cut a hole in it. And uh, I'll take some pictures for you once I actually do them up properly. But this is an outfit. I'm really digging it. I feel like I'm going to wear this a lot. Now my only problem is going to be trying to get these jeans off. <sighs> oh my god. Whew. I think I'm going to be wearing these for the rest of my life. Oh my god. Ugh. Next up is this skirt. This is a $13 skirt. It's plaid 
has an o-ring here the o-ring is at the front and it's at the back and it comes with this chain as well i love this style so much i see it all over instagram i'm really really hyped about this if this skirt isn't too short for me if i can actually wear it in public without flashing the world then i'm gonna wear this all the time so here's here's the chain like this i guess you're just meant to connect the chain to the o-ring at the front and the back so i'll just pair this with this t-shirt for now that i'm wearing this is insane for a 13 dollars skirt this is so cool it's fitting me really well this is a small this feels quite true to size it is a little bit short I feel like you're gonna have to probably wear stockings or maybe like a pair of leggings or something like that underneath if you're concerned about flashing people but I feel like it's not too short I have had worse short disasters than this This material is a little bit thin. It's not too bad because you could get away with wearing this in summer and it wouldn't be really hot on you. I really love this. This detail is so cool. The chain itself, it doesn't feel particularly well made. It does feel quite, I don't know if you can imagine that very light kind of metal. It feels very cheap. The good thing is you could swap it out for anything. Like you could hook all sorts of different chains and accessories and stuff. You wouldn't, you don't have to have a chain that goes all the way around. You could literally put a cute keychain on here, like a little bear or something, anything. You could hang anything off these. I love this so much. You can expect to see this on my Instagram. Don't forget to follow me. It's pretty pastel, please. Oh, this is so annoying because they fit my waist perfectly, but not my hips. Next up is this t-shirt. This is made of the most unusual fabric. I literally cannot describe this fabric to you. It is very, very strange. It's very thick, but at the same time, it's very thin. I don't really understand how that works, but it's kind of like a coarse textured fabric. And uh, this is a $19 t-shirt. And I can tell why it's $19 because it feels very, very, very well made. It comes in three different colors. This one I thought was so cute because I love the combination of pink and red. I've really started to get into it lately. It isn't too short. It's not a baby cropped tee, but it is still a somewhat short t-shirt. Okay, here you go. So it is, I could tuck it in, but I just wanted to show you the length of it. So this is where it sits. So this would definitely look nice tucked into a skirt. It's so comfortable. It's really, it, literally, I have never felt fabric like this before. It's firm and coarse, but it's also very soft and I really love it. This style is so cute. Are you like it, do you? Oh, good. I'm glad to hear. It is a little bit expensive for a t-shirt, not gonna lie. Like $19, that's significant but i can see why it costs that much because the fabric is really really good and it feels so well made i love it and this outfit too this is really cute this next outfit is one of the most expensive things in the haul today hey this pink velvet skirt is thirty dollars and this top here this is by esther loves chu and this is a $40 top. This is knitted. Chu is quite a well-known Korean brand and their stuff is literally so, so good. So I, I do see why this is pricey. I'm a little bit nervous about this skirt because in the pictures, it kind of looks too good to be true. It doesn't look quite as long now that I'm holding it up as it looks in the photos. So I have a feeling this is a little bit like the prom dress situation. This is like a, a recreation, but it's not actually the one in the pictures. So uh, let's try. I know, it looks like I'm doing a massive poo. Ah! <laughs> How cute is this? It's this giant knitted top. It's got these beautiful sleeves like this. It says uh, bunny in heels. The skirt, well, I paired this skirt with this top because in the picture of this top, she was wearing it with a pink skirt and I can't style myself to save my life. So I always have to base it off pictures on the website. So I got a pink skirt, but this pink skirt is uh, not quite what the expectation makes it look like. It is uh, not the same length. The color seems a little bit off. The cut isn't quite right. The fit isn't great. So, eh. They're trying to copy the picture, but it's not actually the same product. It is cute, but the product in the picture looks like a very heavy, drapey, almost like a suede kind of velvet material. And it looks a little bit more of a, a dusty blush color, but this is quite pink. But you know what, I feel like if I paired this with the right sort of clothes, maybe I could get away with it. It's got this unusual asymmetric hemline, but size-wise, I think this is the sort of thing where I would probably need to get a size medium in this instead of a size small. It is a very cute skirt, and I feel like uh, from here up, 
This outfit looks awesome. I really like this outfit, but only from there up. I don't really like it. When I stand back here, I'm like, oh no, maybe not. I've really been looking forward to this next outfit because in the pictures, it looked absolutely amazing. Now the skirt that the model is wearing in this photo was sold out. So I tried to get one as similar to that as I could, but I was able to get the top. So this is a $15 top. It feels incredibly soft. And this skirt, this is a $20 skirt. Now it's not the one from the pictures in terms of the original photo of that outfit. I just tried to get as close as I could. And I hope that this looks as good as it does, you know, as that one does. I mean, I know they're different skirts, but I hope that it's similar. <laughs> like something out of South Park. Ah. Okay, so what you're meant to do with this top is uh, pull on the string like that. It is so comfortable. I'm absolutely gonna wear this all the time. Kate, hey, can you not? And this skirt is very sweet. This outfit is so nice. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I love tops like this and it is so soft, really, really warm for winter, like wearing under a coat or something. It's coming into summer here in Australia and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this skirt. This is so pretty. It has two layers, so you don't have to worry about people seeing your undies underneath. This combo is so nice. I absolutely adore it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm free. Next up is another $30 skirt. This one looked so sweet on the website. It has these little holographic stars on it. Feels like very, very Christmassy sort of vibes. This could be a very good Christmas skirt. Has a lot of tulle and then it has a layer inside. Just has one layer inside, which is kind of like a silky kind of layer. I'm just going to pair this with this top. Okay, I have a sneaking suspicion that this is not this. It is uh, not quite as long, or maybe, maybe it is the one from the pictures and I'm just taller so it doesn't look as long. I feel like uh, maybe paired with a different top, this would look a lot better. Kind of feel like if Simply Neological and I did a collab, you'd kind of end up with this, like a pretty flowy skirt with hollow all over it. I picked up two of the same dress, one in blue and one in pink. These are $30 and I've been eyeing these off on YesStyle for about six months. I absolutely love the look of them, but I have a sneaking suspicion maybe these aren't the same as the photos because the pictures look very very light like very pastel but these ones look I mean they are still pastel but they're not quite as light so we'll give it a go I make a lot of assumptions based on the pictures and I thought that this was going to be a lot more stretchy and a lot softer than what it is it is still cute but it's actually quite stiff like it's really difficult to bend my arms not because it's too tight but because the fabric itself is very, very stiff. It's really strange. The length of it is quite cute. It is a little teensy bit short on my torso, but uh, like the, the style is nice. It's a cute dress. I don't really know if I like this shade of pink or not. Like, it is a nice shade of pink, but I kind of thought that it would be a little bit more pastel, but I feel like the blue one, I'll probably get more wear out of. The blue one is very soft. I, I don't understand. Maybe it's something to do with like dyeing the material pink made it more stiff or maybe they had to use different material to get that pink color I don't know this one is really soft this is what I thought it was going to be this is a really soft stretchy material it's so comfortable it was really easy to put on the other one was a little bit tight in the turtleneck this one isn't they're exactly the same listing same price they're both $30 I would recommend this, but I wouldn't recommend the pink one. For the $30 mark, the pink one just doesn't feel good enough, but this one feels really nice. But $30, that, that is kind of expensive again for a turtleneck dress. So I feel like there's so many other things in this video that are cheaper, that are much better. But hey, if you really like the look of this, like it wouldn't hurt to get the blue one. It is nice, but I feel like there's so many better things in this video. <laughs> this next one is another $30 dress with a, a turtleneck and it's, and it's blue, just like this one. But this material is amazing. It's so nice. It's really soft and look how stretchy it is. This looks so cute. I'm really excited. This looks like a perfect winter dress. The pictures make it look amazing. So I really, really hope that this is as good as that because this is so cute. No, hey, how am I supposed to take this off? You know what? You're going with it. If you stay on there, you're going with it. Um, well, this is called a mini knit dress. When they say mini, they, they really mean mini. 
So if I just stand here and everything's fine, I had such high hopes for this dress, but it is literally a top. I don't know in what universe this is a dress, it's absolutely not. There's something very strange going on here. Either this isn't the item that I ordered, but it does- <coughs> But it does look like it. Or they've got their sizing all wrong. I mean, it fits me perfectly. Like, the sleeves are beautiful. <laughs> the length is- like, the length of the sleeves is fine. It fits fine here. It's just not even coming down past my undies. So... I don't know what to do or what to say and I'm very sad and don't buy this if you're expecting a dress but if you want a warm fuzzy top that looks kind of cool and is very soft then maybe but it's $30 so for $30 you probably want it to be exactly what the picture is and in the picture it is a dress this this is not a dress <laughs> This next one is a $37 dress, and uh, let's hope it is actually a dress, because it, it does look like it. It looks like how it should. It looks long-ish. It's this beautiful, heavy, heavy material, and it's got uh, little embellishments on it somewhere here. How pretty is that? This is a real proper kind of like Christmassy winter dress. It comes with a belt as well. I am excited about this and it looks like it should be a good length, so fingers crossed. Okay, here it is. I'm sure that this dress will spark a bit of debate in the comment section. I feel like this is a real love it or hate it kind of dress. I love it. I think it's stunning, but I reckon there'll be a lot of people out there that'll be like, that dress is so ugly. The fabric is so nice. It's really thick. This is a very warm dress. This is a real proper winter dress. Like you could wear this out in the cold, probably with a pair of stockings on. You wouldn't even need a coat. Like this is so warm. I feel like the fit is very flattering. I love things that kind of cinch in at the waist, but then they have a big puffy upper body. It's so nice. I love it. The length is great too. There's a, no, no accidents here, no, no mooning people in this dress. This is really nice and I love the embellishments here and it's also got them up here too. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm sure that people are going to be like, no, that's horrible. You look like Dolores Umbridge. I love it. It's a beautiful shade of pink, beautiful cut, beautiful fabric. A little bit expensive, $37, but 110% worth it because it is so well made. Now we're onto all the two piece sets that I picked up. This one is $35. It's a black like faux leather skirt, which is very, very thick and very heavy and feels very well made. And uh, this really interesting top, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Where does it start? Oh, I think it's kind of like this. I think it's off the shoulder. It's really, really stretchy, very unusual fabric, but this looks really elegant. It looks very chic and like very Parisian inspired. Get my baguette and my beret. It was really risky ordering this because take a look at the expectation photo. It was like a sketch and there were no pictures of anyone actually wearing it. So I thought it was kind of like a prototype and I had no idea what it was actually going to look like. I didn't think that it would look this good, but I'm in love with it. This is really cool. Like I said, baguette, beret. I could be walking down the streets in Paris, speck in the Francais. This skirt is honestly one of the best faux leather skirts I've ever tried. I feel like the fit is really good. It's got this interesting it's got like a little buckle here that you can take on and off as you please. I mean, I don't really know what the practical point of it is. I guess it's just to cover up the zip. It's just really stylish. I really like the length of it too. It's very flattering and this top is so cool. I've never seen a top like this, like the way that it, it's kind of like a, I'm wearing an X-Men suit. This next set is $34. It comes in a couple of different colors. It looks very, very Chanel. I feel like this is definitely Chanel inspired. You'll see why in a second. I did really like the white one, but this is me we're talking about, so I couldn't go past the pink. It's a skirt like this and a cardigan that looks like this. Now the material is quite thin. It's knitted or it's meant to look like imitation knit, I guess, but it isn't a very thick material. So I don't think that this would keep you very warm. Okay, well, I feel like this top is great. I'm not such a fan of the skirt. This is giving me major Centrinians vibes, absolutely. But I just feel like because of how thin it is, you can see every little lump and bump. And because of the big buttons on this cardigan, you can actually see, I mean, it looks like I have a, a very drastic belly button. Aside from that, it is very sweet. I, I do think maybe, oh, why she stop? Stop. I do think maybe in white, this would also be very flattering. And I think it may have even come in black as well. 
No, sorry. I will get a lot of wear out of this cardigan because it is so pretty. I could pair this with so many things from my wardrobe. The skirt, I'm just not sure. I just feel like it shows a little bit too much, so I'm a bit hesitant to wear that. But the, the cardigan, absolutely. But you don't really want to go paying that much money just to get use out of the cardigan. So look, just take a look at what it looks like on me and make your decision whether or not, if you really like this outfit, maybe you can work around the skirt, showing, you know, maybe wearing stockings or wearing pantyhose or something. You might be able to get around all the details that show through the skirt. But the top, I love it. Archie! <laughs> this is what the top looks like tucked out, and I actually think that looks a little bit better. So I just wanted to quickly show you that before we move on to this, because this, look at this. This is so cute. This is a $32 two-piece set. It's a little dress like this with little spaghetti strap sleeves. And this is made of kind of like a, a very thin crepey material, but it's not very translucent, so that's good. It also comes with this little outer kind of I guess you could say like a petticoat kind of thing. You could wear this on top of all sorts of dresses. It doesn't have to be on top of that dress, but they do come together. So I guess you get the benefit of that would be an outfit on its own. That, well, I mean, it could be an outfit on its own if you wanted it to be, but you could put that over something else and then you can pair them together. So you can kind of get like four different outfits out of this. Okay, I thought I'd put on the cherry dress first without the little mesh thing over the top. This is so cute. This is like a perfect cherry dress as far as I'm concerned. I think it's amazing. I love the purple color. I think this also came in pink as well. I'm gonna get so much wear out of this dress. This is coming into summer now. I'm gonna wear this all the time. It's a little bit short, to be fair. It is quite short, or at least for someone my height or with the same length torso as me, it's a little bit short. Like it's just one of those skirts where you, you don't want to bend over. You definitely don't want to bend over. But you could still get away with just wearing it walking around on a flat surface and not going up any stairs. This is very, very soft and very light. No, I'm not gonna risk you putting holes in this. Okay, so here it is. This is very unusual. I've never worn an outfit that looks like this before. It is very, very cute. Like, I, I like the way that this chul skirt is really voluminous. Like, it fluffs out a lot. Look, I honestly feel like I could wear this little dress top dress thing over a lot of different outfits. I really, really like it. What do you think, Archie? Archie just wants to put holes in it. That's all he ever wants to do. Just wants to put holes in everything that I love. I feel like this is so precious. I'm gonna get heaps and heaps of wear out of this. It's very unusual. Again, here I go again. It's great for Instagram. But I feel like if, if you aren't quite my height or if you have a shorter torso or if your legs aren't as long, then I think that you could wear this out a lot easier than what I could. But I'm really digging this. I feel like I could put this over the top of all sorts of different dresses. This is so cute. This next two-piece set is $32. It's covered in little love hearts. This is like a, a very Valentine's Day kind of top. Don't you reckon? It's really, really Valentine's Day. And then this skirt is exactly the same print. This fabric, oh no, I don't want claws, no claws. Value-wise, this is the best out of everything because this is the best quality so far. This is so thick and so warm and so luxurious. This is very unusual. I feel like this is another one that people will either love or they'll hate. In the pictures, it looked very, very cute, but I just, I don't know what to feel about this. I really like it, but at the same time, I can see why it might be a little bit too much, a bit over the top. It's very, I don't know, would you say like, college kind of preppy, I guess, in a way. Yeah, I do feel like a college student on Valentine's Day, for sure. <laughs> this next dress is a $20 dress. It has an embroidered collar. It has a little heart here, and on the collar where Archie's chewing, it says Sunning Girl. This came in pink, and it's also in blue. Very, very sweet dress. I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> this is amazing! I am so, so happy. This is so cute. I don't believe it. I love, love the length of it. It's really, really flattering. I have negative A cup boobs and it fits me fine up here where the buttons are. But if you had bigger boobs, you might want to size up in this because I do feel like there isn't that much room to accommodate. So potentially go one size up and then just cinch it in at the waist with a belt. But this running is a size small for me. I'm an Australian size six and this is literally perfect. I feel like this is one of the cutest dresses I've ever tried on. Archie, look. We're like Dorothy and Toto. This is so, so precious. This collar is so sweet. Ah, I love it. 
what do you guys think? I feel like this is probably one of my favorite items, but uh, tell me in the comments below what your favorite item was. But yeah, I I love this. This is so cute. I love the way that it's got this chul skirt as well. And then it has this really, really nice thick skirt at the bottom here. So you're not going to be able to see undies or anything through it. I love it. It is perfect. And now, sadly, we're at the end of the video. <laughs> this is... Uh, not necessarily a two-piece, it is a set, but you have to buy this one separately. This is a little blue skirt, and when I say little, I mean little. Oh, hang on, are these shorts? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're shorts. I thought that this was a skirt, but they're actually shorts. Okay, so it's that. I also picked up this little top. This is just a cami. This was $6, and I just thought that it would look really nice with this outfit. And uh, this big blue blazer. Now, this does feel on the cheaper side. I had hoped that this would be a little bit... <coughs> I'd hoped this would be a little bit better. The fabric itself just doesn't feel great to touch. It just feels a little bit rough. It does still, it's got a double layer in it, so I do feel like it would give you some warmth. But just first impression, it's not as good as I thought. But I do think that this will look really nice. But I'm a bit nervous about these shorts. They look very, very short. Okay, well, I'm glad that the jacket and the bottoms come separately because uh, the jacket is amazing. Love it. The bottoms are... Very, very, very small. Very small, very short. NSFW. So, uh, yeah, don't really recommend. But this top, how nice is this? I mean, I guess maybe you could go for this bottom piece in a bigger size if you needed the length because like it fits but the length is just not there so uh, maybe you could size up and then tailor it because if you really wanted the top to match the bottom I guess that's probably what you'd have to do because this as an outfit all together this is really really nice I'm loving these like pastel corporate vibes this is the sort of stuff when I actually go into the office when I do actually go there. This is the sort of thing that I want to wear because I want to still maintain my pastel aesthetic but I want to be corporate and be taken seriously. But I don't I don't think that I could really wear the bottoms but I could definitely wear this. And this little cami is really really cute too. It's like ribbed and it seems like a nice thick material. That's it guys, that's everything. If you like this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Pick up your merch if you want to grab a pin or two or four. If you want an entire little flock, go for it. So yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other items that you want me to review, please leave them down below. Don't ee. You can find me on Instagram, it's Pretty Pastel Please. You can also find me on Twitter, Pretty Pastel PLS. You can find Archie at Archie Eclectus. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!